Hi, and welcome to the latest Industry Expert Series. My name is John Watson. I am the Senior PCB Engineer at LeGrand Corporation in Carlsbad, California. We are presenting to you these videos in hope that we will be able to provide to you some phenomenal information that you're actually going to be able to use. What is happening with these videos is that Ultima is coming in partnership with us as designers. I think what they, they realize that we have a lot of pressure as designers to meet the schedules, to keep up with the latest technologies and everything else. And what Altium is hoping through these, this, these series of, of videos, that we, they actually will be coming in partnership with us and coming alongside us. And I can tell you that the first priority is to provide to you in-depth information on this on subject matters and we don't want to just make this though a, a theory where we sit and we lecture you we want to hope that we hands-on and practical for you and that you actually be able to take the information and use it and Ben Franklin said that tell me and I forget teach me and I remember involve me and I learn our hope is that you, we would actually involve you in this process. And we want to hear your comments. We want to hear your questions that you may have. And we're going to be providing to you a link below that you can actually click on and give us your input and your feedback. And we want, to get, we want you to get the most out of these courses as possible. And by getting involved, by giving us your comments and questions, our hope is that you, we will be able to customize these presentations and that we will actually be able to take those questions and be able to develop these around what you want, directly answering those questions and comments that you have. We have a lot of information that we're going to be giving to you. In this opening episode of the series, we're going to be looking at PCB data management and the impact that it has in, in what we do every single day. And just a few topics that we're going to be covering in the upcoming episodes, we're going to actually be looking at, well, what is PCB data management? What would be considered a successful data management system? And how do you then develop that system? And we're going to be introducing to you the, uh, what's called the SMART rule, S-M-A-R-T, which will actually be standing for Singularity, Managed, Architecture, Reviewable, and Tailored. And then we, we're also going to be looking at what are some of the common issues that we have or problems that we're going to possibly have in our PCB data management system. What are the pitfalls? We got to be prepared for those. They will happen at some point. So it's best to plan and be proactive at the very beginning, knowing that, yeah, you're going to have problems, but there is an answer to those. We're also going to look at some one of the negative consequences that may arise. What happens when you don't do it correctly and there's bad PCB data management? There's a lot of horror stories that we can sh we're going to be talking about with that. Also, what kind of sensitive data are we really talking about? And how do we develop that data? Um, how can you change your operational processes to improve your data, PCB data management? So I'm, I'm hoping you're getting the feel here of what we're offering. This is, I, I'm looking at this as like a buffet. A lot of times I usually relate things back to food in some way. And we're hoping that you see this as a buffet. And we, we are encouraging you to share this content with others. That if you like it, please share it with your friends, share it with your team. Our hope is that we will actually develop this and make it where this would become subject matters for you and your team to develop better systems, better collaboration between you and your team members, develop a better system that you can actually operate from. And our hope is that you would be better and move forward. We're gonna be actually looking at in our next episode, we're actually gonna be starting and looking at what is PCB data management? I wanna I want conclude by saying, if, if you look at a rope and you look at the multiple strands that are involved in that rope and they're, they're twisted together, if you took one single strand out of that rope, you could easily snap it because 
there are weaknesses in that r r individual strand. And there's spots along there that, that, which are easily breakable. But what happens is, is that when we take that single strand and we wrap it together with others, and those weak areas then are, are randomly distributed throughout that rope and that length of that rope and the twist of the rope, it allows the surrounding strands to just kind of cancel out the weak spots of those individual fibers. That's the same way with us as designers. We all have our strengths, we all have our weaknesses, but as a group, as a team, as a, as a family and a, a uh, group of people as designers, our hope is that we can actually cancel out those weaknesses. That your weakness is my strength, my weakness is your strength. And when you do that, it's very hard to break that rope then. And our hope is through these presentations that you would then be a better designer and that we can actually have an open conversation about these issues. My name is John Watson and thank you very, very much for watching. Please leave your comments and questions down below. Thank you.